One of the most exciting parts of smart devices is the world of augmented reality. And here in Australia, we're doing it better than most. The lines between the real and the virtual worlds are definitely blurring here in the Sydney office of Explore Engage, a privately owned software and technology company that is making waves locally and internationally with their augmented reality content. Australians are famous for their inventions, from the Hills Hoist to the aircraft black box to Wi-Fi. And if these guys have their way, there is something way cooler to be added to the list. I'm here with Paul Cooper. He's the CTO here. Now, Paul, augmented reality, love it. But what are you doing that's so different? Well, we're doing glasses. You know, you guys have probably heard what Google are doing with their glasses, and we love that they've validated augmented reality. Um, but the point of difference between their glasses and our glasses is theirs is monocular. It's um, essentially just a, a single lens, uh, you know, above your field of vision. We're actually augmenting both lenses and directly in your field of view, so we can magically put content right there in front of your, your vision. So where do you think you could use this kind of technology? Well, the great thing about AR is it can allow so many various things to happen. So I could be uh, just walking down the street and I need to find in which direction I need to go. So for instance, I could, I could put a point of direction directly in front of me and say that I'm 200 metres away from the subway and go there. With architects, for instance, they could be there on site and they need to visualise what that property looks like. So from the floor plan, for instance, we could actually augment from the floor plan and put it out there in situ on site. As you can see from their concept video, the possibilities are endless. Augmented glasses could help you administer life-saving first aid in an emergency. They could make your online experience more intuitive and maybe even help you play Fruit Ninja in the park. The, the game space is, is just a great one for AR because it allows these game characters and that game to coexist with, with uh, you know, your environment. I guess in homage to all the old games and taking that, that older technology and putting it into a, a new space, into a new technology, new world, we've actually got our prototypes here and we've paid respect to Space Invaders in this instance and we've put together a little demo for you if you'd like to have a go and play it. Thanks, Paul. Space Invaders, like I've never played before. It might look like I'm doing my best Stevie Wonder impersonation here, but what's actually happening is the aliens you can see on the computer screen I see floating around the office. I'm moving my head to line up the shot and the remote fires the laser. <laughs> Paul, this is some really cool technology. When are you going to release this for everybody to have a go? Oh, you know, we'd like to get them out next month, but uh, we are a small company and, uh, you know, so funding permitted, we can actually get these out in 2013. The guys are looking for some local support to try and make this augmented reality actual reality and are launching a crowdfunding initiative through Posable to get these babies off the ground. A really cool piece of technology, what's even more exciting is it's homegrown right here in Australia.